Have you ever touched a turnstone? <laughs> well, the truth is, neither have I. But in this video, I will show you how I managed to get close to these interesting and charismatic shorebirds. Ruddy turnstone is one of the most widespread of shorebirds found in all continents. In Britain, it is frequently found foraging and resting on coastal defences, rocky shorelines, and stony beaches. Arriving at Shellness, I walked to the beach where the turnstones can usually be found and sat quietly so I could spot where they were feeding. In early autumn, many were still in their colourful breeding plumage while others had already moulted into their non-breeding colours. To get closer, it helps to know about the bird's feeding behaviour. And turnstones often look for food in this type of strand-lined debris. This is exactly where I found a group. Getting down low meant less of my body broke the horizon allowing me to watch the turnstones foraging at close range. These turnstones almost buried themselves in the tide-lined debris searching for invertebrates. Turnstone's strong bill and neck contribute to its feeding action, flicking stones and shells to catch small crustaceans. I was able to see this at close range by crawling slowly along the beach. Well, crawling along the beach like this has certainly given all my muscles a good workout. But inch by inch, little by little, I've managed to get really close, just a few metres away from these foraging turnstones. And here I can see them living up to their name, flicking over pieces of seaweed and, of course, stones. Of course, the turnstones don't spend all of their time turning stones. They spend a lot of time resting, especially at high tide. These high tide roosts are just as important to birds like this as mudflats are for feeding. And a good way to watch these birds is to sit and wait for the incoming tide to push them close. By just sitting quietly and very still, turnstones walked right past me. Although I'm lucky enough to see many rare birds in many countries, colourful and charismatic turnstones always draw me back to shell nests to watch them. Of course, turnstones are not the only birds at Shell Ness, and as I waited for the incoming tide, I was treated to some great views of several other waders. This close encounter with the Dunlin was a highlight, although I got a bit wet videoing it. Dunlins were also joined by an autumn plumage sandaling. It was also nice when this gathering of ringed plovers came close to me. If you enjoyed watching this video about turnstones, you can learn much more about their feeding behaviour in this video here.